Hello everyone. In front of me, I've got a 172 Middle East diorama that I've got from AliExpress. Not cheap, I can tell you. I paid around 80, between 80 and 90 euro for it. It comes almost ready out of the box. Um, it is painted. It comes with some accessories. Let's not wait any longer and see if it's any good and worth the money. Because, let's be honest, uh, around 80-90 euro is not cheap. Um, it came in a box, wrapped in plastic. I hope it survived the trip. Now, let's be... Careful and don't break anything. It comes in two pieces, I see. Oh. Yeah. I see more tape. Oh, I hate all that tape they use, but it's good for protection. Okay, I see there is no back. Feels pretty strong. Come, come out of the packets. Okay. So here we got the first piece. I think it's 3D printed. You see some holes to put something in. Uh, on the back side, not much, but uh, that's kind of handy to put some figures inside. Okay, uh, let's take the other part out of the package. And I hope the accessories are in here. Okay, here. Oh, yes, we have to be careful. So here I got. For the street light and electricity, I put that here and here. I've got some Middle East advertising for on the roof. Okay, put that here. And then we're going to take this out. Alright, alright, alright. Yeah, I see accessories. Plastic gun. Okay, the accessories are right here. Also with some tape. And this is, you can see, good plastic. What is the brand? Uh, no brand. This is no brand. You can see the structure. I think here comes the... The light. Okay, but we have to do that later. First, I want to check out the accessories. <sighs> okay, that's good. So, what do we got? Some more advertising, some roadblocks. Okay, let's. I need a sharper knife. Let's put it in here. Uh, let's see. Uh... Uh, this looks like for some. Roadblock, we got one of those. Um, some oil can, a little bit dented with some um, blood on it. Looks like blood. <laughs> okay. Uh, we got this, looks like a wine barrel. 
Then we have a sign right here. We got another sign right here. Another one right here. Another one right here. I have no clue where they should come. Then this looks like a window piece. And another window piece and another sign right here. What is it? Stop, danger, bomb ahead. Okay. That sounds definitely like a Middle East sign. Um, okay, I put those right here on the plastic. And there is no description or whatsoever. Typical AliExpress. It's very rare that something comes with a, a manual. <clears throat> okay. We put this like that, and then I think it's pretty easy that the building comes here because you can see it's got these lines here. Hey, red, white, blue. Okay, that fits very nice. Pretty good. Then. Oh, this is also a uh, pretty big space to put something on it. I will get a tank later. Sorry that I have to do it like this, my friends. Okay, then uh, I have this sign. Three pins, three holes. So I hope it fit. You have to be careful with that. Not too much pressure because uh, this can break really easy, this right here, these three pins, so this is enough. I'm already glad it fits, because these holes are round, but these pins are square. Uh, then we have to see where to put all these signs. I think you can use different signs. I have three, three holes right here, I have two holes right there so three here two there do I have some holes right here no no so I think you can choose yourself uh, okay but this one goes right this one oh here are also two uh, holes can you see it yes there they are so uh, we can choose which one to put on there? This bomb sign, I like this bomb sign. Typical Middle East. <laughs> Typical Middle East, that's crazy, right? Voila, stop danger, bomb ahead. Can we focus on that? There we go. And I can also choose another sign. No, this one is too big, so it's got to be the bomb sign. And where I have two, let's put this right here, because I have two of these. Where to put these? Okay, first we're going to put this right here. There we go. That was also pretty easy. Um, I think I have to look this up where these are from. Maybe it's a door or something. Oh, I see two more holes right here. And I think not sure if you can see what I'm doing. Yep, that looks right. And I also got one with three. 
three pins. I have to do that right here. Sorry for my amateuristic video. Vestal. Then I've got uh, this one right here. It goes over there. Start to look like something, right? It's actually pretty good looking for a ready out of the box Middle East a diorama. And then I've got this sign right here, and that one goes in here. And that one is the only one that doesn't fit. Okay, it does fit. Okay, still not sure where these are uh, coming, but uh, I will find out pretty soon. Uh, then we have uh, the the roadblock. You can put it right here. Uh, some barrels. You can put it right here. <clears throat> and maybe one right here. I don't know. And um wine barrel eight. Eight. come on put it right there and then uh, the last thing we have to do I'm going to check where these uh, should be uh, back in a sec Okay, so uh, I went to AliExpress, looked at the photos, and the doors come right here and here. But I think it's best to use some glue so we'll to keep them on the on the place. Same for this. Maybe it's handy to use some glue, but yeah. Again, also not because if you want to store it, this diorama, that's a little bit of that's not so handy uh, if this is glued. Uh, for the rest, I think it's best you can put this diorama behind a wall, of, of, against the wall. And I'm saying that because when you look at this, there's too much light coming from the back. And I understand that the back is open because you can put some figures inside. But when I place a black cardboard against it, it looks much better, I think. So that is uh, not a big problem. That's pretty easy to do. Okay, now the other thing that we're going to do is put some uh, put some figures and uh, cars inside. So I've got something right here. Let's see. Oh, these are Second World War figures. Nope, we don't need that. It was a little bit earlier. Um, but first I can get a tank. Maybe this one right here. This is a diecast 172 scale tank. I can put it... Oh. Sorry, I can put it right here. You see, it's big enough, but I can also use uh, Bradley. Do I have a Bradley tank here? No, I don't. Um, I do have a 164 Hummer. Let's see how that fits. This is the one from uh, Johnny Lightning. Maybe it's a little bit too big, but I also have uh, 172 Humphy right here. So 
Yep, from Dragon Armor. Put this one right here. So that looks already a lot better. Um, I will be placing uh, some figures that I have in the diorama and then I'll show you how it looks. I think that's better. I have some more 172 figures right here. And I have also some rebel figures. Let's see. No, these are Russian. Oh, I also got the other ones. These have all gas masks. And what do we got here? These are Chinese soldiers. Ah, here we got the American soldiers, including a dog. I think this one is very cool. And I can also use um, these accessories for this diorama. But I will do that later. And yeah. So I've got the diamonds right here. So maybe I can put this one behind the barrel. Right there. So the Navy SEAL team is ready to entering the Middle East building. Um, we'll upload some photos later from this diorama, including some more figures and maybe some other models. I think the 164 Humvee from Johnny Lightning fits perfect in this diorama. Here you got the 172 Humvee from Dragon Armor. It also looks uh, pretty cool. Uh, figures, by the way, are amazing. Really well painted. Here, check out this dude right here. OP focus, come on. Focus a little bit. There we go. With the sniper gun. And there we got the dog. That looks pretty cool. Nice picture, by the way. We'll make a photo. Super cool. Okay, is it is it worth 1890 euro? I don't know. I don't know. It looks very good, but um, I think 40, 50 euro is a better price for this diorama. 80, 90 euro, then it should come with figures and a model or something. Uh, yeah, then it's worth the money. But uh, let me know uh, your thoughts about this 172 Middle East diorama. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to, to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a nice day. Bye.